<laughs> okay. Twisted Fate. And Mickey's a great Twisted Fate player. We, we do know that. We've seen it many times. But, like you mentioned, it does not thing on the Afrika Freak side. Yeah, usually you want to use that first uh, teleport as Twisted Fate to go get items and then recall quickly so you don't yeah. lose farm. Now he's going to lose out a lot of farm in the mid lane. They get up! Whoa! Oh. Okay, they go back in and Lyra picks it up. Wow. How did that happen? I, I don't Must have know. Been a no, I don't know. What does Fisher Price make these like cars? I have no idea. <laughs> it's been a long time. Here comes the DFL coming in, locking up here. They're really trying to punish the support player. They will get it. Now diving onto Fury. Gets exhausted. This could be two. It will be two. Song Yoon and Lyra each picking one up. So far, so good for the Afrika Freaks. Well, especially as to Afrika Freaks going for the Mountain Drake and. Trying again. Oh. They can't do it. Oh, but Lyra caught with that knockup right into the uh, tether from Frozen, or the uh, Suppress, rather. Big explosive cast comes in. Song Yoon! Brings, uh, Why? Down. Song Yoon, though, decides that he wants to die and just walks right into the enemy. No, he flashed in. Ah, flashed in. There we go. That's even better. And so the Afrika Freaks in a fight that they absolutely could have been. It was really Ixu that tried to successfully... Lyra gets caught and crashed. Picks one up himself. Yeah, red buff burn. Giving over the kill there to Crash. So that's three kills, actually, on the team were kiting, and one of them was flashing forward. Oh, there's a pick. <laughs> All right. Well, they managed to find Crash. Sloppy game so far, Joe. No, he's only there to zone with parallel conversions. Yeah. All right, catches Lyra with it, though. That's dangerous. He's going in. Lyra completely caught. I don't know why he stuck around there. I have no idea why he didn't get out of that. Yeah, he didn't have Flash, oh, but he had plenty of time. Flower in trouble. Backing away. Here comes Mickey, though, on the TF. Looking for the gold card, finally loads it up, gets it onto Pierre. That's going to be a kill for Song Yoon. Helps out to put that onto the Kogma. Looking oh, for some damage with the curve call, Snowflower. It's going to make it out. Now trying to get Snowflower, he flashes, gets right into the wreck side knockup, though. That's going to be an easy pick for Longju. Another kill onto Fury. Expression, yeah. ah, explosive cask, knocks him backwards. There have been a lot of pretty aggressive plays in this game. He's going to go in for the gank onto Expression. Easy pick up there for the Afrika Freaks. Well dove. All right, Song Yu, uh-oh, flashes. Still gets knocked up by Crash. He's going to go down. Gets caught a little bit too far forward. Lyra exhausted. Going to try to get away. Now he gets caught by the Malzahar. Gets very, very low and Crash not quite able to finish him off. Meanwhile, Mickey on his own. And Frozen's going to pick up another kill there. Lyra dodges that curtain call. They were looking for Graves, but they decide maybe now is a better. That can do anything about this right now. So Baron's going to go over to Longju. Find the picks in the mid lane, and they're making this Malzahar work. They really are. Yep. Way, goes way far up. Doesn't really have any vision there. This is Fate Mickey coming in to try to protect his AD carry. Songy living for the moment anyway, but that curtain call. Oh, so close. Expression though comes in for the execute. Snowflower goes down right afterwards. Expression ults back. They've got Ixu, it looks like, as well. That's three kills already for Longju, a double for Frozen. And now add the Baron buff into that. And this is definitely going to be an objective or two. Simply nothing until a 6k advantage right now is huge. Mickey's going to make the desperate play. Yep, coming in, but he's uh -oh. going to walk right into Expression and Crash. Gets caught completely. And that's going to be a dead TF. There we go. Crash with another kill. Now it's a 4v5. Pure eating up Ixu. Top laner about to go down. Curtain call used. Nobody there to really kill. I suppose. Just making sure Ixu was okay. not going to get out of that, so now they can... This is methodical closure from Longju. Ixu gets caught oh, and destroyed. Right. Yep. That's what happens when you get in range of Frozen on that Malzahar. Way Ixu going in. Nice explosive cask on the crash. You're right there to save him with the Kog'Maw. Longju needs to back away, though. Pierre's still going to get taken out, I think. He's dead. Yep. He is. Nicky with the kill there. Expression on the way out as well. Frozen. But uh, yeah, Ixu gets taken. Frozen going deep here. Pushing Afrika back, and that may be enough damage. There's the double kill. Brayseeker, Malefic Visions combo enough to pick off Snowflower and support. So Afrika fights back. They prevent yeah. Long just barely. Apparently taken by Longju. Easy pick up there. 
Might as well grab that and give yourself a little bit more insurance. A little bit longer, gets hit by one right on the nice outside. Nice stun. Yeah, a good block by uh, Ixu as well, but it is a good stun. Ixu backing away, crash, going deep, expression, trying to make something happen. But what is going to happen in the end is Longju will take this game. There goes Nexus Turin, number two. There goes the Nexus, and Longju Gaming keeping themselves out of relegations for now. It's a big deal. GG. That's right, they move now to 6 and 11. So they escape the promotion tournament. For the moment. For the moment. We'll have to see how ESC ever does. Now, Longjoy only has one game left.